finally headed into episode 7. Ak and Ion have, well, they definitely are close now. I mean, you know, you don't just kiss someone like that for the fun of it anymore. I don't know where it goes with these two. They open themselves up, not in that way, emotionally to one another, which kind of gives you an idea of maybe how they feel around one another, but there's still so much mystery. And of course, for I am his uncle, why he took his life. There's the curse. There's a lot of, lot of mystery. And, and also an interesting fact was Tua's stepdad. The last episode we saw him, I didn't get that whole aggressive, bullyish, antagonistic idea that they give us about him. He actually was asking questions, so I'm a bit curious what's going on there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. And of course, if you want to head over to my Patreon where there are shows that aren't on YouTube, other shows that aren't on here yet, movies, early reactions, then you know, I will leave a link in the description box below. Oh, this is where he's dreaming, right? Yeah. And I mistook it for him making out. And I was like, well, people when they make out do breathe heavily and make those sounds, but he's not having nightmares. Oh, it's the kiss moment as well. Yeah, of course. But he's awake. And then they make out. Oh, he was dreaming all along. Well, he was imagining things, I should say, because he's wide awake, though. Someone will give in to their desires. Is I am going to cradle into Hack? The music was indicating it. This is where you could tell his age, where he feels like that, that young kid who's lost a real big influence in his life, someone that meant a lot to him. Daytime. It's sunny. I always, I saw it when I think of uniforms, because obviously I went to school with a uniform. And you're like, oh, so long ago. You <laughs> Your attitude is back. ทำทำอะไรเสื้อกูอ่ะทำอะไรโอ้ชิดคลีนดิดกูก็ซักไงเอ็นคิวไอ้ทำไมอ่ะกินเดียวกันเลยนะมึงบ้าปะเนี่
still for him to be the one actually doing it. I don't know. There's always a chance. I don't know. 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 I don't no, you're going to tell him about the room? So why did he ask her that? Unless he was the one who sent that there? Maybe he sent him there. What is his name again? Nemo? Namo? Namo. He's always around. He's like a ninja. He's really silent. Do you know? He just, he's in the shadows. Um, you mean so that you could take all the uh, glory? Yeah, Namu is very sneaky. Like, no one ever seems to see him about, and I think that's kind of his curse, but also a blessing. Did you do the assignment? อาจารย์ชนิดบอกว่าการบ้านเค้าเด็กใหม่ติดไปกับเธองั้นเหรอครับอาจารย์มีอะไรหรือเปล่าครับเธอสนิทกับเค้าแล้วเหรอเอ
れは。お世話になります。แล้วมึงชอบไปถั่วดูแลมันดีๆนะมันพวกชอบเก็บทุกอย่างไว้ในใจคนเดียวอะ Yes, see, when you usually say this to someone, or when in these shows, you mean say like the person. กูชอบ Not ถั่วกูชอบที่มึงกล้าพูดกับกูแบบเนี้ยแต่คนที่มึงควรจะแสดงความรู้สึกด้วยอ่ะเซฮิเนอร์สิคือไอ้ทัวไม่ใช่กูแสดงความรู้สึกอะไรของมึงวะยูเนอร์เดิมสต็อปแอคติ้งฟูลิชมันคือความรู้สึกของมึงเว้ยถ้าตัวมึงไม่รู้แล้วใครจะรู้วะอืมอ่ะมีแต่ฮัสเบนด์มีหลายคนที่มีความโมโหสื่อในในซีรีส์ซึ่งพูดถึงความรู้สึกของมึงนะที่ไอเดีย Truly expressing those type of feelings, not the homophobic ones that are actual attracted to someone of the same sex. It's going to be difficult for him. It just is. I might just actually go back to that little moment there. Sabai, can I? That he will ask me if he likes me. He doesn't like anyone but me. Sabai, can I? No, look at the smile. Protesting again. It's not this show without these three protesting. Do you create them to be outcasts? ไม่กลัวค่ะถ้าพวกมึงไม่กลัวเนี่ยพวกมึงก็ไปประตูที่อื่นไปไปดิ you you kind of created them to be outcasts by the way you treat them ตัวกูตอบไปเลยชูสูตรแม่กำแพงจะตายห่าแถมแม่ยังไม่เข้าอากาศประเทศไทยอีกยกเลิกเลยไปเลยเฮ้ยกูไม่อยากใส่สูตรสุพโลละ oh so this is about กูก็ไม่ไหวแล้วร้อนชิบหายไทยจะใส่ก็ใส่กูไม่ใส่แล้ว build momentum but I mean it's a uniform If it gets too hot, which it would in Thailand, they should be able to have moments where they can at least take it off. Like, at least the blaze off. But then we weren't allowed to. Technically, other people were bothering them. Someone told him to look that up. That is true. Let's see what they have to say. They have written down that the students will have the right to be educated. You say infringe on the rights of others, but then you're also infringing on their rights. But then they're, they're infringing on their rights to have a peaceful protest. See, now she's an accomplice because she agrees with him. So you take all their stuff. That's infringing, that's breaking it. I mean, it, it, it bugs me when you try to mandate these rules, but try and take away their protests and their rights when they're saying, but technically we have a right. It's not infringing on anyone's peaceful uh, ability to study because they're on break right now. They're not in class. I don't know, since it's going to go on with the proof, they're going to have to break and separate. กูว่ากูว่าเริ่มเห็นด้วยนะเว้ยเฮ้ยเราไปพูดคุมกฎนะเว้ยมึงคิดแบบนั้นไม่ได้ Yeah, but their rules that they want to change aren't that bad. 
บางทีกูก็แปลกใจนะโตมาเหมือนเหมือนกันเรียนมาก็เหมือนกันทำไมคนพวกนั้นถึงคิดไม่เหมือนพวกเราวะไม่เหมือนหรอกมึง Because people are different This is why they bring up the social issues in this show which is a great thing to do เขามักจะอ่านหนังสือดูหนัง He gets it better than any of them in this group หรอวะ You are what you eat กินอะไรก็ได้อย่างนั้นนี่คือสิ่งที่ไม่ใช่ไหมมันควรจะเป็นการพูดถึงเรื่องการเมืองโซเชียลนี่คือเพราะเขาต้องเรียกเรื่องนี้ขึ้นมาอีกครั้งด้วยนะมันเป็นบทเรียนที่ดีและเป็นบทเรียนที่ดีสำหรับช่วงหนึ่งสองสามของจอร์จออเวลล์หนังสือดีหรอครับคนเขียนคนเดียวกับเรื่อง Animal Farm เพื่อนที่ผู้ใหญ่บ้านเราเคยแนะนำให้อ่านอ่ะหอผมเคยได้ยินข่าวนะครับเขาบอกนักเขียนคนเดียวกันหรอครับเนี่ยสองเนี้ยเขาจะมีจัดเสวนาเกี่ยวกับหนึ่งเก้าแปดสี่พอดีรู้สึกว่าคนมาพูดอ่ะจะเป็นนักเขียนไทยรุ่นใหม่ด้วยนะครับฮู้ will they awaken something in you ซึ่ง1984นะฮะหรือว่า1984เนี่ยก็เป็นนวนิยายแนวดิสโทเปียนะคะของนักเขียนชื่อดังจอร์จออเวลนะฮะเป็นนวนิยายที่โด่งดังมากระดับโลกนะคะได้รับการแปลเป็นหลายภาษาแล้วก็สร้างแรงบันดาลใจนะครับให้กับนักเขียนหลายๆคนนะฮะอะไรครับสติกาเฟ่เราเชิญมาร่วมเสวนาในวันนี้ด้วยสวัสดีครับคุณปราบสวัสดีครับคุณเอออยากให้คุณปราบเนี่ยได้เล่าเรื่องย่อนะครับของ1984ให้ท่านผู้ฟังทุกคนได้ฟังกันก่อนครับครับ1984เนี่ยมันเป็นเรื่องของเมืองในอนาคตที่รัฐบาลยุคหนังเนี่ยแหละครับพยายามสอดส่องประชาชนไม่ให้มีสิทธิ์มีเสียงไม่ให้แบบมีความคิดเป็นตัวเองเลยนะครับก็คือจะสอดส่องไม่ให้ประชาชนคิดนอกกรอบถ้าคุณทําอะไรที่ผิดจากสิ่งที่รัฐบาลต้องการปุ๊บรัฐบาลก็จะเห็นแล้วก็จะถูกเอาตัวไปทําโทษนอกจากคนของรัฐบาลแล้วเนี่ยก็จะมีพวกเพื่อนบ้านอะไรอย่างเงี้ยครับที่เหมือนแบบว่าคอยสอดส่องเพื่อนบ้านด้วยกันเองว่าแบบเธอทําผิดจากกฎที่รัฐบาลตั้งไว้ไหมอะไรอย่างเงี้ยแสดงถึงความดีความชอบความจงรักภักดีอะไรประมาณอย่างเงี้ยแสดงให้เห็นว่าตัวเองเนี่ยไม่ใช่คนที่เป็นแบบนี้แล้วก็แทนที่รัฐบาลจะได้มาจับตาตัวเองเนี่ยรัฐบาลก็จะจับตาคนอื่นแล้วก็ทำให้คนเสียสมาธิหมดเลยส่วนคนที่เป็นเหมือนตัวอย่างของรัฐบาลซึ่งประชาชนไม่เคยเห็นหน้าเลยนะแต่ทุกคนก็จะรู้จักแล้วก็ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใช่ใ
They clearly put a lot of pressure on him, though. <laughs> yeah, but they're proud. But, yeah, clearly, it's gonna be a lot of internal struggle. He is getting pressure from both sides. Oh, man. What is wrong, so? See, a mother always knows. You can see it on your face. Oh, there was no fight in him there, was there? Not just about the family, you have to make yourself proud. Have to make yourself proud as well. She's telling you that's listen to your mother there. See? This just shows the innocence of him right here. She said, let it go sometimes. You're allowed to be tired, you're allowed to not always be perfect. Someone's traveling. Oh, roadworks, sorry. Is there anything to do with roadworks or. <laughs> oh, the dog. <laughs> sorry, I just saw that dog come out of nowhere. <laughs> the fact that they're spending time together. I want Han and Mang. I want Hot Mamang. But that's not only a guy more for me. Cool. Ah, King Mega Galayo. But notice how both of them were there. Mung Han was a coming way. Hey, you see, let me wa. Pray, Mako, hold my food. More the Miriam now, really? Why? How about a good night? I still need to know why Nemo is there. If why is he here? Why are you here? Oh my! Kissy, kissy. Oh. I mean, hey, and curious why they all came. <laughs> Oh really? You're just gonna take pictures instead of filming today? So what's it for? Like for fossilization? Like what? Crabs? Crabs? Because he loves it. Why have you not picked up on Watts' love to film and photography and cinematography? Why is he not picking up on this? They, I know they're young, but sometimes they are so aloof to what the others like. Mm -hmm. They think you're about to take a picture or look at him. He would be the one to notice. It, it would be him because he views things from the outside. <laughs> and now they're just looking out.
It's like, you know, you're at the end of your high school times and you're looking out and you know things are going to change. You're all going to change, you're not going to be the same. We've seen this done throughout in different BLs, but it, it feels like that. This is their kind of last hurrah. He would grab him. See what I mean? There's a there's a genuine innocence and youthfulness to this scene. It's kind of random, but you know, it, you get the idea. Mm. These two always bickering. Oh, the tides really come in. Is this the furthest it comes in? Oh, they're waiting for them to go so they can have something to drink. Because these three are smiling. It is alcohol. It's always alcohol. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they would go for the same bottle. Ah. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're gonna play games. Two troops and a lie? Two lies and a truth? Whatever. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we know who that is. Straight away. I, I just... Be careful how you act around people here. You don't know everyone here. Because who's to say everyone around this table is drunk? And I mean that there's these two and I am. Oh, it's that woman, right? คนที่ครอบครัวมีเวลาอบรมสั่งสอนเลี้ยงดูมาอย่างดีน่าจะใช่ไม่เหมือนนี่ๆๆดูๆทําให้ดูอ่าไหนๆๆฉันผิดหว
Because I, I feel like even if he's trying to seek the truth, he has really probably maybe started to like elements of being there. Most disturbing thing. <laughs> Um, the untruthful dare. See, I wouldn't trust any of them with a dare. I wouldn't trust anyone with a dare. Uh, that's a question you ask. Yeah, he doesn't want to express if he likes someone. Uh, yeah, I get it. At least it wasn't spin the bottle. Oh yeah, let's see. Because he wants to know that I feel like he's proven here. Yeah, see, I feel like he was proven. It's true, it is his life. And I feel like a very proven question from Tua. <laughs> Feels like a lot of you are scared of your parents. Oh, it's got to go to iron, right? See? Why are you asking him? That's the question, technically. Uh, wasn't your question. That's another question. None of your business. None of your business. Yeah, he doesn't have to answer your questions. Questions. Uh, do you like how when they play drunk, the eyes get a, a bit heavier, the movements, like the head goes down. One of the best things you can do sometimes when you're trying to be drunk is pretend you're not drunk. You kind of pick up and it shift and you try and stand and you can't. It's when you pretend you're sober, it works probably even better. At least they were all able to fit in, kind of. There's someone missing. Notice how- <laughs> look at these two with their legs wrapped around one another. But notice how they got the, the side couple and the main couple to be the ones that technically would be sleeping next to one another. A lot to think about. Yeah. Hot hot. Oh, he's actually turning him a bit more. Wonder if he'll start piecing it together. Tell me. I feel like it's someone in this group. 
because of them bringing them all together. Things are really shifting between them a lot more now. Because he always tries to be so tough. Because obviously he's trying to find information out, but it's hard. The more he finds out, probably the more heartbreaking it is. I think he just misses him as well. When that guardian esque person in your life is gone, you do lose for a while yourself. You have to go really early. อยากไปเลยลูกเดี๋ยววันนี้พ่อกับแม่ว่าจะไปลึกๆหน่อยอืมโอเคอ่ะก็พาเพื่อนลงเรือลำนี้ก็ได้ไปกันใกล้ๆ
Is this going to be a moment? And he's awake. I guess you could use the whole idea of being asleep to say, well, I, I just was seeking out comfort without realizing who it was. Are they holding hands? <laughs> Look at him trying to make it subtle. There is a sweetness to them in this moment. Mm -hmm, you both went in for that kiss. Let's not forget that they're both awake. And holding hands. <laughs> that was really nicely done there. They probably worked on that a little bit to have the moment where they just missed that the other one's awake. There you go, there's a little bit of a smile, finally. A little bit of a breather for him. God, he's got perfect teeth. How? Oh, on this tiny boat? <laughs> You're going to lean in. These are nice mid close ups. Ready. Say it. Or kiss it. Do something. He's not looked away yet. You did say for him to look into your eyes. They definitely shot this a few times. Another very enjoyable episode. I liked them bringing up about George Orwell. Of course, 1984 and Animal Farm and what it means. Uh, of course, with 1984, we know it's what created the titular show Big Brother. It's the whole idea of the government watching you and what happens when you have to follow rules. And then if you break these rules or something happens and people vote you out, this is the whole thing. Like The citizens just not knowing who this person is, but the fear to be different and the outcome of that is shown in this show. You know, they are all so young. They don't know who they are or what they want. They're piecing it together bit by bit. But they're so afraid to let not just themselves down, but their family, the school. And we've seen that, you know, society isn't ready, at least not in the school, to accept people who are different. But the teacher, when he came forward about they were disturbing people's right to a peaceful education, you know, disturbing the peace, they actually weren't. Uh, they were at the front of the school, technically. You know, they hadn't entered the building. Plus, people are what on break. There is a right to express your freedom. And they're being peaceful. They are not being violent, even though there's violence that's been used against them. We've, they've been called outcasts, slurs thrown at them. But yet no one is in trouble for all of these things that would break the rules as well. And that's where the hypocrisy of this teacher comes in. It's you must obey our rules and follow our way of life. 
And if you are different, that is not okay. I like what this show is doing because there are moments where it's in your face, but it's never aggressively in your face. It's always something that you can debate and talk about with them all together at at parents' house. I liked that because it was like, okay, we understand why the three friends are together. Why are the other three here? Which then implies to you that they've all become a little group, including Namo, who in the first episode was just so desperate to be a prefect and be their friend and kind of be in with the, the cool crowd. But I don't fully trust him or Tua, you know, especially when people are around drinking because, you know, loose lips. Especially when you've had a drink and you don't know who was really drunk, who's keeping information for the teachers or for leverage. And you know, they're letting things out and you just got to be very careful, just very, very careful around people. People that you think you know, but you don't truly know. And then we saw I like, more of him letting go of the hurt, you know, kind of starting, I think, to slightly heal because he has someone to fall back on. The problem is, it's never going to be at this point someone he can truly, and vice versa, for uh, to fall back on because they are at such loggerheads, especially when it comes to education and the rules. But what I will say, saying he wants to be film, he's expressed it, we know, but he's expressed it to them. It's Letting them be themselves and break free from societal, uh, societal norms. There is a freedom in trying to be who you authentically are. And they're young, so it's a process. And then we got some sweet moments, you know, the main couple going away together on the beach. And then they just cut away before they're supposed to kiss. You know, it's showing them getting closer. They were in their own little paradise. And then we have the side couple and them kissing, holding hands when they're asleep. We've had this episode especially for Han is him wanting that freedom that kind of relief of knowing it's okay but we are a few episodes away now from the finale so things will start to pick up in terms of trouble because it has to you know and more secrets it's the whole secret thing as well that keeps it going that's really good so I'm excited for where they're going to go